Now we're going to go over some of the preferences you can adjust in the Gboard settings. So again, pull up your keyboard anywhere on your phone and you want to long press on the comma key to pull up the settings and you'll just let go once that pops up. Now that you're in the settings here, you'll go ahead and tap on preferences. Once on preferences, you can see you have a whole list of options and we'll kind of go over it top to bottom here. So the first thing you have are the keys um, that you want to kind of show up. So like number row keys. So if you always want to designate a number row, you can go ahead and turn that on. And if you want to show the emoji key, which I have turned on, that'll pop up. And if you want to show emojis in symbols keyboard, um, that's kind of a confusing title. Basically what it means um, is do you want emojis to show up in suggestions where usually you have your suggested words. It'll also pull up suggested um, emojis or symbols. Um, and so now if we kind of go back to the actual keyboard, you can see we now have a designated number row up here and we have the emoji button down here as well. Now, if we jump back into our settings and go back to preferences, we can see the next section here is called layout. And you have one-handed mode that can be right-handed or left-handed. So um, you can turn on one-handed mode from the keyboard itself. Um, but if you're right-handed or left-handed, you can designate when you turn that on, you want it to be on the right side of the phone or the left side of the phone. So that's how you adjust one-handed mode. And then you can see keyboard height. So I have it on normal, but if you want it to be, let's see, extra tall, we can go ahead and do that. And I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Now you can see it takes up a lot more space on the screen. Um, so you can have it taller or shorter, um, whatever works for you and just while we're here to switch to one-handed mode if you long press on the comma key you can see you got settings and one-handed mode you can just swipe over to one-handed mode and here you go that's one-handed mode but let's jump back to preferences and we're going to put this back to normal now you get a bunch of options down here for key press um, so sounds on key press, so that's when you're typing, it makes kind of the clicky sounds. Uh, I have that turned off, but that's up to you. But if you have it turned on, you can also uh, set the volume of how loud you want that to be. It's up to you. Um, there is haptic feedback on key presses. That's basically the vibration um, that you have as the feedback when you type on it, when your phone vibrates every time you hit a key. And again, you can adjust that um, vibration strength on the keys if you want to. Um, pop up on key presses, that basically means whenever you tap a key, it actually pops up with that key above it. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, and long press for symbols here, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. Basically, now when we go back to the keyboard, It'll be like the normal numbers row, and you'll you'll see a bunch of different symbols with all the different keys. And if you long press on those keys, it'll actually put type in the symbol instead of the letter. So, and the last thing down here is um, key long press delay. So if you want this for it, this is basically how long does it take to recognize it as a long press? If you want it to take longer or shorter, you can go ahead and change that. But now we're going to head back to the keyboard. And as you can see, I now have all these symbols also next to my keys here. So like if I long press on M, I get a question mark instead of it typing M. So that's kind of a quick and easy way to get to some symbols. You see question mark, exclamation point colons, semicolons, a bunch of different ones here. So that's what you can go and adjust. And that pop up on key press, you can see when I hit the letter J here, it pops up with J above my thumb. So it's just an easy way to kind of see and make sure you're hitting the right key when typing. So that's a overview of all the preference options here on Gboard um, and how you can go and kind of customize this keyboard to your liking. Hopefully that helps.